Hello LEGO fans, a UK here and welcome to my review of LEGO Star Wars set 75016, the Home Inspired Droid. Hopefully you would have seen my previous video, both the unboxing and build in quick time. Um, there I gave you a full review of the box and the instructions and obviously also the build of the set itself. So this review is going to be purely focusing on the minifigures and the main set itself. So, there we can see the actual home inspired droid itself with the minifigures. Comes with four minifigures um, Stas Ali, a clone trooper, and two super battle droids. So, moving on to the actual review, let's start with the minifigures. So, first off, we have a clone trooper. See that? with his blaster and the piece on the end. I believe this is a DC-15. I'm sure I get corrected in the comments. If it's not, please correct me. And I can't entirely remember, but I think it is. Um, but from the LEGO purposes, it's a blaster rifle with um, the attachment on the end of it. So you can see there the printing on the torso, front and rear. Got the single sided face. As you can see the detail on the helmet. Okay, so that's your clone trooper. Okay, next we have two of these Super Battle Droids. See there. Okay, these are not new. And in previous sets before, there are two of these um, with this particular set. Obviously the arms move. Super battle droids don't come with any weapons. Okay. Right, so there's two of those. So the final minifigure is Stas Ali. Quite a cool looking minifigure. Some good printing on the legs, front torso, and the rear of the torso comes with a green lightsaber. Okay, so just remove that head and see the face printing. So we do have on the rear, print into the rear of the head too. I'll see there. And you can see the hair in there. We've got this, what we're getting more of now, is this kind of textured, almost rubber. Um, for the hairpiece. So there we go, that's Stas Alley. A cool minifigure with some good printing, good detail. Okay, so moving on to the set itself, there's actually, I guess, two home spiders. We have this smaller one, um, which we can see here. Okay, so the front turret piece moves up and down. Got the antenna on the top here. All these legs, posable. 
they move in various directions, the actual leg and the feet piece. As you can see, oh, just there. It's actually got a translucent piece on the bottom there to give it the bit more stability, um, but obviously to avoid actually seeing a block on there. Okay, obviously translucent red pieces there for the eyes. That's pretty much it for this smaller one, guys. Okay, so on to the main home in Spider itself. So this so first off you have this piece here rotates 360 degrees where the actual eyes of the homing spider are as you can see there obviously on the top here we have it's actually a flick missile so this does actually flick out on the top which I'll show you in a minute um, I guess the main one of the main features on this is um, are the legs. So you can see four legs on the actual home and spider itself. So just go back to the legs of so these all move up and down. You've got the feet pieces here which all move just naturally kind of go into various positions and um, when it's actually on the floor. Um, down the bottom here we have another gun see at the top also so when that flick missile is represents a gun one down the bottom like I said that piece spins so like I said this is a flick missile on the top here I'll show you that there you go flick that piece out show you that piece there okay and then that just slots nicely back into the top there. As you can see here, I do keep catching this, so it's one thing to be aware of. These guns um, coming off. So, I think that's about it for the features on this. Just check on the box. Uh, this the bottom, this moves as well. Can put this in different positions, this actual gun here. It doesn't spin, so it just literally will go down and then uh, back up like so again this one doesn't move this is just your flip fire missile some nice detailing with some i guess this is a hydraulic hose on here and again um, on this one here and again as you can see that's been knocked off so like i said playability it's something to be aware of that that one does get knocked off quite easily um quite a good set Fairly sturdy, I mean for the younger kids, yeah, some good playability on here, the flip fire missile, you can move it around, just be wary that this gun does seem to come off fairly easy. Um, for display purposes, I mean I'll have this on display for a while, I think it does look quite good, um, and it's kind of just sat there on display. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so. Hopefully you like this video guys of 75016, the Homing Spider droid from the summer 2013 Lego Star Wars wave. Um, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video um, and please provide me with any feedback um, through the comments. If you haven't done so already, again I'd appreciate a subscribe and also sharing the video to um, hopefully get more subscribers uh, to support me in what I'm doing. Anyway guys, uh, that's it. So again, thanks very much for watching this review and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.